This is Twit. Uh, I think a couple of big announcements, important announcements that uh, probably didn't get as much attention. Pass keys. So yeah. this is this is the uh, replacement technology for passwords. Hallelujah. Already endorsed, supported by Microsoft and Google. Apple now is is completing the triumvirate. Uh, I think that's going to be huge. And they have an API for it. Steve Gibson talked about it on Security Now the next day, uh, last Tuesday. His concern was it wouldn't be portable. That, well, what if you use your Apple phone to do this now? Can you move to an Android phone? Uh, I'm told at the, and maybe you know better, Renee, but I'm told at the uh, breakout sessions, Apple said, no, no, there will be an export feature. So you'll yep. be able to get your pass keys out of iCloud where they're stored and into an Android phone or a Windows machine. You're not locked in. Uh, that's going to be huge. I think that's very, very important. I have a question. And the QR code it. system, so you could walk up to them as well, was great. Yeah. So if you're in a library, so the idea is from now on, instead of remembering a password, your fingerprint or your face ID, your biometric authentication, is sufficient, or you know, a pin if you if you don't if you don't have that kind of a phone, and if you walk up to a library kiosk, you can do the same thing. Log in with a QR code. I love this. Go ahead, Philip. Um. Uh, if the, if you're not on the cloud, if you've lost your internet connection, everything still works? Yeah, it's all stored on your phone. Okay. The syncing is for the cloud. So... Well, and for websites, like like you, like you wouldn't be able to download the website. So that well, part you would can't be, anyway because you're not online, yeah. right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so like a lot of the utility goes away. Yeah, if you're in a submarine, you don't need to log into a website. You're <laughs> yeah. okay. You're safe. So what about if you... The, so the, the, the keys are on the phone. What if you lose the phone... Can you, when you, you save your, you know, say phone state on iCloud, if you reinstall, it doesn't come with it, does it? Yes. Yes. It, it uses a secure okay. version of CloudKit to transit uh, the same way it uses like for health data. It's one of the reasons you okay. have to do that, right? Because you might lose the phone. Um, you can also so you, authenticate uh, with a desktop if you have a fingerprint reader, right? Yeah. On Windows, yep. if you have Windows Hello, Windows Hello is actually a much more sophisticated system than what Apple has, which lets you use uh, YubiKey or your face recognition or your fingerprint recognition. There's a lot of different ways to support Hello. So, so yeah. another theoretical situation, I authenticated on my phone with my fingerprint and I want to log in on my computer. It sends a notification to my phone and asks me to authenticate there, and then it logs me in on the computer? Is that how it works? It can work and just present a QR code to you, and then you hold up your phone to the QR code, and it relays the authentication back and forth using the service. We should, the, by the, the way, service. this is not an Apple technology. Apple's going to support no, this is FIDO. Yes. FIDO2 technology, exactly. Yeah. yeah, Which is important, because it means Microsoft, Android, Windows, Macintosh, iOS, all going to support it. And you know why it's really important, Leo? Because there are a bunch of us. Every time we travel, YouTubers try to log into our YouTube site, and it makes us authenticate. And because Google's like login system and their confirmation system are separate, the confirmation system doesn't have all the features of the login system. So, like, once login, you can say, "Go to my authenticator app, send me a message, use a device." The the um the confirmation one only has a device, and a lot of us have review units that we don't have with us, and it'll say like, "On your Pixel 2, make sure you confirm it." Like, I haven't seen that phone in two years. So like the, the faster that kind of stuff can go away, uh, the better for everybody. I think it's, I think it's, uh, now Steve has, <laughs> he created a competing technology, which unfortunately, because it's just him, didn't take the world by storm. Yeah. I think probably technically a little superior called Squirrel, but a very similar idea, public idea of public key crypto. Um, and uh, I think a little bit better, but still uh, this is, this, this eliminates phishing it eliminates uh, replay attacks, password theft. Some people in the chat room are concerned that it more, it's more complex. I think once you start using it, you will see it's not more complex. It's in fact... Yeah, it's easier. It's easier. It's like you're already using it in some respects. For instance, nowadays when I sign into Windows, Microsoft pushes a number to my phone. And then on my phone, it says, well, was the numbers this, this, or this? And you hit that, and then you're logged in. It's similar to that it's kind of... It's autofill without you having to know what yeah, the fill is. Yeah, single sign-on kind of technology. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it's, and, and most people, if they're you know, aware of the issues of, of security issues, they're going to use a password manager, which is great, 
as well, but it adds a layer of complexity. Yeah, that's like complexity. Explaining right. to my mom how to use a, software, a, a password manager is really tough. Um, and and yeah, this is going to be maybe a little bit... Uh, the, the authentication, the FIDO uh, thing, technology, is more complicated than remembering one password. Yes, that's true. Yeah, but especially you if you don't your need to remember one password. Your maiden you need name to and birth date. <laughs> 15,000. One, two, three, four, five, six. If it's monkey one, two, yeah. three, yeah, this is yeah. harder. But, for uh, everything. <laughs> monkey one, two, three, for, for everything. everything. No, that's that's the thing. You don't need one password. You need, you know, 500 right. for all the websites. I, honestly, so you need a password manager. So the complexity isn't to compare this to remembering a password. It's to managing your entire suite of passwords right. and services. So it's I not comparable. three years from now, we're going to look back and say, what were we thinking with all this password crap? Yeah, what kind of we're, animals were we? I, I really think this is going <laughs> to supersede that, and we're done. Thank God. So I thought yeah. that was a big deal. I was really happy knowing that Microsoft and Google had already now support to see pass keys on that slide. Uh, and I know they didn't spend a lot of time with it, but I thought that was really, really uh, very, very good news.